Okay guys, it's been a while since I last uploaded and today I'm here to give some basic ideas about playing left hand bass. Okay, so when you want to play left hand bass for a high life song, for instance, there are levels to go through. Okay, so I'll play a song and go to level one, level two, level three, level four, like I posted in the short. Okay, so with level one, you are just playing the root notes, which is the progression of the song. Okay, the first song, uh, the song I'll be using is And Can It Be That I Should Gain. It's a hymn and then Remission Choir sang it as a high life. So I'll play that and then show you the progression of the song and then how we can keep adding notes to make the bass line more interesting. Okay, so with that, what we mean is that uh, if the song is in G, then we are going to use these notes as one, G as one, A as two, B as three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight or one. This is eight, it's the same as one. We're starting again all over it with G. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's that way. And then if the song starts on one, then you are definitely playing this. Okay. If it says five or four, you go to this. If it says six, you play this. If it says two, you play this. If it says five, you play this, and then you go back to one if the song demands that you play one. Okay. So I'll play the song and then show you. So that's the progression. The progression will help those who are playing brass, those who are playing the right hand or the organ or the piano or the e-piano or the basses. It's just helping everyone play. Everyone is going to play based on the progression or the degrees of the song. So if the song's first line can have and can it be a that? Okay. And can it be that I should gain? It will go like this. And can it be that I should gain? That way you have one, 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 then four, five, one. That is just the first line of the song. So it is a one, four, five, one progression okay let me play the song and then i play the bass alongside the music one 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 four five one one okay, okay. let me take it again Okay, we go. One, 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 four, five, one, one, four, six, two, two, five, five. If it's number four, you are playing four. Okay, so that's just a basic way. And then this may be too raw, it may not be so interesting. So we go to level two. At level two, if it is one, you are adding the notes of the one chord. 
one chord requires that you play this chord. Okay? If this is the song is requiring one, the first degree, the tonic or one or do these are the notes in the chord, the triad. Okay? This is the one chord in key of G major. Okay? G major scale, you play this. So you can now when I do this, I'm doubling this. Now what I'm doing is that I'm including notes in the chords in addition to the root notes. So first line was one, four, five. So at one, we have three notes at our disposal to use. When we get to four, we are going to use all these three notes. The triad of four is actually the C major. When you go to five, you are playing D major. Okay? And it continues that way. Whichever one, if it is one, this is seven, this is six. So with six, you are playing this. And then when it is two, you are playing this because it's the two. And then we build a triad on it. Okay? This is a minor. One is a major. Two is a minor. Three is also a minor. Four is a major. Five is a major. Six is a minor. This is also six here. Okay? Seven is a diminished. Seven is a diminished. And then eight or one is a major. Okay. So let me play the song again. That is it. When you know you are on one, you have all these notes at your disposal, and then you can double some of them. Even if you take it this way, you can double this one here. Okay. You can also double this here. The same thing. You double this here, and then you omit the middle one. same triad but I omit the middle one and then repeat the notes here okay now when I get to four I omit the three the middle one and then repeat this here so this is a pattern so we play this one two three the top one and then the low one it's all over and then you use this pattern again and then we see okay so one 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 now go to four five one four five three six That 
that's how it is. So at level two, you know your triads, your major, your minor, and then I didn't mention this. Okay, the suspend four chords also work at level two. The suspend four is also a triad. Okay, what we mean by suspend four is this. This is the G major chord. When you move the three here, this is one, three, five. When you move the three here, this becomes what? G suspend four. Or when you move the three to the two, it becomes G suspend two. So they are also used. I usually use a suspend on the minor chords. Let's look. Number chord number two is a minor. Okay. Okay, number two. So I double the two. Let me play. Okay. This is one pattern I use. If it's on a three. Okay. Or you can also do the this is also within the suspend chord because this is the suspend. This is B major. Within the three to the four, it becomes B suspend four. So, so when you're moving from three to six, you can use this B suspend four pattern. Okay. Then you add this bridge note here and then this. So for level two, we are just using your basic tracks the major minor diminish and then suspend chords now at level three you know your six and then your seven chords as well as your circle of fourths and fifths okay now let's look at the six when you take any chord and then you go through the skill of that chord you can add the set notes from that skill now in g major skill this is Number six. So we play G major, we add a six. Okay. Okay, when I play something like this, all these three notes are from the G major chord. This is here. If I add this, this is the same. That's a, that's a set chord, and then when you are playing the four, this is the fourth chord one, two, three, four. Chord number four is here, built on this four. You can add the six here. Let's go to C major scale. C major scale, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we play C major, we have the six. So this new joints, okay. This is B minor, this is D major. 
Okay, so this is the suspend from major and then I shifted it to suspend using the suspend notes. Okay, from three to six. But the three and the six are all in the D suspend four chord. Okay, so that's about the same. That's sustained um, major six with a minor six. Uh, minor six. It is this way. This is a minor. The minor six can be this. This is a minor. It has a six. This is also a minor. Adding the six will come to this. So for a minor chord, you have this. This is the set added. And three is also a minor, but you only want to use a minor six on the three. Maybe on a six. It usually just works. On the two. Let's take that for now. And then we have the dominant seven. The dominant seven is this. This is G major. Add this, and then you get G G dominant seven. Okay. Now, if it's major seven, you are going to get. It's going to have the original seven in the G major scale. Dominant seven, and where do we use it? So it works best on the one and then the five. On the five, you are going to have this is D major, D dominant seven. Okay. So. Just a simple this. Okay, don't mind this. This is just the notes I'm including just to come back to this. When I come back to the one, I'm using these notes to arrive at, at this one here. So you, you have the freedom to include other notes, although they may not necessarily be in the chord. Okay. And then uh, you also have to know your circle of fourths and fifths. It's a topic on its own. Okay. So in that pattern, what you have is that when you play this, you come back one, two, three, or a fourth interval down. So okay, let's make it five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, 
So at this level, when you play this, you want to play your next bass note as a fifth below, and then one to a fourth above, a fifth below, a fourth above, a fifth below, a fourth above this one, and then a fifth below this one, a fourth interval above, a fifth below this one, a fourth above, a fifth below, a fourth above, a fifth below. So I'll play a song and then use that. So you see, there's a better, a better song I used this in. So. Okay, so I did this. down to four. Four is five steps below five. Then I go four steps above the four towards seven. And I come five steps down to three. Then four steps to six. Okay. Then five steps to two. And then to go to five. And then to go to one. So this is in the scale of F. If you are in the scale of C, it will be this way. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, four, three, two, one. So one. If this is your starting point, you take five count down. Four up, five down, four up, five down, four up, five down. So this is a pattern you also want to practice and then I'll start coming with examples, I'll pick songs, record them and then insert these uh, techniques in and then you see how it works like I did for this one. Let me play that in C and C. The song gets to a point where you realize that these things will fit in. You just put it in just to spice it up and then it works well. So 
that is about the level three. The level four, you start playing, you know, it will feature more of the notes, okay? With this, when you play a note, I'm now in key of G. So this is your 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 octave notes. You play this, you play another play back half, another play back half. Okay, so this is actually chord number one. I omit this like I said previously and put this. So this you take this out double this you have this you create a pattern with it chord number two you take this one out double this one here you create a pattern with it so chord number three chord number four and this chord number five you take this one off double this and then that is our page when it comes to uh, sorry that's our okay our people it means that it moves apart, an interval of it. Now, when you go to the arpeggios, this is very common in piano. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, in bass, you want to play some. Okay, so this is uh, an arpeggio. They are playing the notes. In the chord, in this one, I usually do this and then on the five, and then it is this way. This, this is the five. The five continues here. We will meet this. We will meet this. So instead of playing the five this way, we double this here. We take this one off here, bring it here. So we play this way. successive notes or degrees 
the progression is moving from one to two. Instead of playing the one, come back two steps. One, two, and then play this instead of the one. So this guy here is substituting this, and then you play this. This gives you a, a fourth interval. One, two, three, four. This is a fourth interval. Okay. So instead of playing. This is one to two. Okay. Instead of this, you can use this grace note or this note here too. Okay. Okay. But you can also. So this is the suspend chord I was talking about. This is A sustain 4 here. So I did a substitution. Instead of playing, this is G to 1. But I'm substituting the 1. We don't want two close notes from F. We are going from F to, uh, sorry, from 4 to 5. Okay, you can also use this, the grace notes. Or, sorry, uh, so this when you substitute the this is let me come again a movement from four to five you can substitute the four with the two come two step back three two so instead of being okay so instead of being there you can use it or you can even use this way. This is the two. The two and it has this chord. Omit this. Okay. Okay, so usually when the song is ending, it goes to four, five, and one. Okay. the 4 with 2. So that means I'll be moving from 1 to 2 and then 5. I also don't want to do 1 to 2. So I substitute the 1 with what? 6. 2 steps back. So 6, 2 and then 5. And then I can even alter the chord instead of being a 1 chord. Okay, so this is also something to just come to the 2. From 6 so that, that's just about it. Substitutions, patterns, grace notes, arpeggios, octaves, all this coming to play just to make the bass nice. So some green downs will start coming up at this tutorial and then I hope you are going to get get them, get the concepts and then you start practicing them.